OpenAI has turned into Marvel's shield and they're assembling the Avengers. And remember the Avengers movie where Tony Stark accidentally built a super smart robot that almost destroyed humanity? Yeah, that's what this real life team of Avengers is attempting to prevent as they build real life super intelligence. Everyone knows OpenAI's ultimate goal is to create super intelligence, which needless to say is an intelligence that far surpasses a human's. But this can be scary if you think about it. What if this super intelligence one day decides humans are a hindrance to the planet or for that matter, the galaxy? Connect the dots for us here. How do we get from a cool chatbot to the end of humanity? Well, we're, gonna, we're planning not to. That's the hope. Like, you know, that's but the But there's hope. also the fear. Um, I mean, I think there's many ways it could go wrong, but we, we work with powerful technology that can be used in dangerous ways very frequently in the world. Um, and I think we've developed over the decades good safety system practices in many categories. Uh, it's not perfect, and this won't be perfect either. Things will go wrong. Um, but I think we'll be able to mitigate some of the worst scenarios you could imagine. Well, in seeking such an intelligence, there must come a safety measure that equals it. And that's what OpenAI just announced in their blog post, Introducing Super Alignment. We get into that, plus a pretty substantial GPT-4 update on this episode of AI Focus. Before we dive into super intelligence, I'll briefly skim over that GPT-4 update I mentioned, which should have huge implications moving forward. Millions of developers have been asking since March for GPT-4 API access, and now that day has finally come. Starting today, all API customers have access to GPT-4. New developers will have access by the end of the month. And then OpenAI says rate limits will be raised after that based on compute availability. Along with this GPT-3.5 Turbo, DALI, and the Whisper APIs will be made available. And fine tuning of GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo will be made available later this year. This is extremely exciting as we've seen the capabilities of lesser fine tuned open source models. This couldn't come at a better time. ChatGPT set a record for the fastest growing user database reaching 100 million users after two months, but it has just seen its first decline in traffic and unique users in June. Traffic dropped 9.7% in June and 10.3% in the US alone. A senior insights manager at SimilarWeb said, chatbots will have to prove their worth rather than taking it for granted from here on out. Apparently, the novelty has worn off. It was even widely thought that ChatGPT would replace the search engine, but Google still has a staggering 84 billion monthly visitors in comparison to ChatGPT's 1.8 billion. And let's not forget the fact that OpenAI disabled the highly anticipated browsing feature just as quick as they announced it. The feature allowed users to bypass paywalls and access subscription-based content without subscriptions. OpenAI said, if a user specifically asks for a URL's full text, it may inadvertently fulfill this request. We are disabling browse while we fix this. We want to do right by our content owners. Users gave ChatGPT links to different news sites and asked the AI chatbot to reply only with the text found in the URL. ChatGPT responded with news articles every time, even if they were behind a paywall. Hopefully, browsing will be re-enabled soon. But on the bright side, developers will now have the power of GPT-4 in their hands to create some amazing things. And I think we've only seen the tip of what's possible. And speaking of what's possible, OpenAI has admitted that the development of superintelligence could result in literal human extinction. So you may ask, if the danger is so large, why are we even taking the chance at creating superintelligence in the first place? Well, to answer that question, I leave it to Nick Fury himself, aka Sam Altman. And if there is that small percentage chance, why keep doing this at all? Like, why not stop? Um, I mean, a bunch of reasons. I, I think it's, A, I think that the upsides here are tremendous. The, you know, opportunity for everyone on Earth to have a better quality education than, than basically anyone can get today. Um, that seems like really important and that'd be a bad thing to stop. Um, medical care and what's I think gonna happen there uh, and making that available like truly globally, uh, that, that's gonna be transformative. The scientific progress we're gonna see. I'm a, I'm a big believer that like real sustainable improvements in quality of life come from scientific and technological progress 
and I think we're gonna have a lot more of that. So there are all the obvious benefits, and you know, like, I think it'd be good to end poverty. Like, maybe you think we should stop a technology that can do that, I personally don't. Um, it doesn't matter what you think. OpenAI has the tech, and they think the world will be better off with super intelligent machines. So that's what we're getting, most likely within the decade. Along with new governance, managing a super intelligence requires what OpenAI predictably calls super alignment. Before we get into the super alignment plan, let's get a quick refresher on what super intelligence actually is. It's an artificial intelligence that goes beyond our human capabilities and starts rewriting the rulebook. Picture a super intelligent entity that can process information at an unimaginable speed, learn from it, and make decisions that could shape the fate of humanity. It's like giving a supercharged brain to your average computer. But now you may be asking, how does super intelligence happen? Do computers just hit the gym and start pumping binary code? Well, not exactly. Super intelligence emerges from advancements in artificial intelligence research where machines learn to learn, upgrade themselves, and become self-aware. It's like AI on steroids minus the side effects. So what could super intelligence do once it hits the scene? Oh, just about everything. Super intelligent systems could solve complex problems that have baffled humanity for centuries, like finding a cure for diseases, tackling climate change, or even predicting the next plot twist in your favorite TV show. But now back to OpenAI's plan. OpenAI's new blog post cuts straight to the point. We need scientific and technical breakthroughs to steer and control AI systems much smarter than us. To solve this problem within four years, we're starting a new team, co-led by Ilya Sutskever and Jan Leakey, I think that's how you pronounce it, and dedicating 20% of the compute we've secured to reach this effort. We're looking for excellent machine learning researchers and engineers to join us. This new strategy is necessary because we currently don't have a way to steer super intelligent AI. We steer good old fashioned AI with reinforcement learning from human feedback, but this requires human supervision. Obviously, super intelligent AI is not gonna let us supervise it, so we need another idea, and quick. So here's the plan. They wanna build a human level automated alignment researcher, which is an idea they've previously introduced for artificial general intelligence. They would then use lots of compute to then scale this up to super intelligence. This AI system could then be leveraged to assist on evaluation of other AI systems that are too hard for humans to supervise. Basically, build a robot to supervise the robot. Then, to validate the alignment of the systems, OpenAI would automate search for problematic behavior. Finally, they'd test the pipeline by training the misaligned models. They go on to say, Our chief basic research bet is our super alignment team, but getting this right is critical to achieve our mission, and we expect many teams to contribute, from developing new methods to scaling them up to deployment. This team of Avengers is headed up by the genius himself, Ilya Seskiver, and OpenAI's head of alignment, Jan Whatsurface. With them will be researchers from the previous alignment team and other various departments across the company. They're also looking for more machine learning experts to help them solve the problem, and they've added links where you can apply for research positions directly. And this super alignment team wants to achieve this new super alignment system within four years. They know this is a long shot, but they're optimistic due to promising preliminary experiments and a set of useful metrics to go by. Google, on the other hand, is taking another approach called machine unlearning. It's exactly what it sounds like. It aims to remove a specific subset of training by examples from a trained model. An ideal unlearning algorithm would remove certain examples while retaining beneficial properties. This is done by retraining the model on an adjusted training set that includes examples from the forget set. But unfortunately, this takes an incredible amount of compute, and it's tremendously expensive. A better way would be to have the already trained model adjusted to remove requested data. So Google has started a machine unlearning challenge. The competition considers a realistic scenario in which after training, a certain subset of the training images must be forgotten to protect the privacy or rights of the individuals concerned. The submissions will be scored in model forgetting and model utility. Obviously, Google hopes this competition will advance the state of machine learning algorithms. Here's a visual showing what an unlearning algorithm could do. An unlearning algorithm takes as input a pre-trained model and one or more samples from the train set to unlearn the forget set. From the model, forget set, and retain set, the unlearning algorithm produces an updated model. 
An ideal unlearning algorithm produces a model that is indistinguishable from the model trained without the forget set. It's gonna be a crazy few years, but one thing is for sure, either the world will change drastically for the better or worse in a very short period of time. Let's hope the smartest minds in AI haven't bitten off more than they can chew. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click that video on the screen to get more information on what AGI would look like. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.